Hello everybody, welcome back to Pro Evolution Soccer 2021 Full Manual E Football Master League, whatever the title is, Crystal Palace. Um, it's deadline day and we're going to be playing Leicester today, but yeah, you can see there, Fulham. Fulham didn't go well. I can't beat Fulham. I don't know what it is about Fulham, but I just cannot beat Fulham. It's very, very irritating. Um, we played, when were we last together? Sheffield United, maybe? Yeah, I think it was. We lost 3-1. I then beat Aston Villa 2-1. Then Fulham, we lost 2-0. And today we've got Leicester. Well, this to tomorrow in game, we've got Leicester. We've got deadline day and then Leicester City. So we'll see how it goes. We have lots of transfers to deal with at the moment on deadline day. First off, in our team, we have bids for Oxlade Chamberlain, 32.4 million. Goncalo Guedes, 24.7 million. Uh, Gwenduzi, 30.75. The Gwenduzi one I'm probably going to reject. On the Earth crew I could probably get rid of and I'm happy to potentially actually accept that even though he's worth a little bit more and then uh, that's it on the out on the ins we have two very interesting transfers potentially coming in so Kukuleski or Kulevsky didn't fancy moving to us so that's not going to happen however Cliver is very interested to move to us so we're probably going to try and get that one done um, because we're getting him very, very cheap, as you can see. It looks like he's happy to move to us. And Mbappé, Kevin Mbappé, uh, Mbappé, is very excited to move to us. Can play fullback either side, loves to attack. They want 35, we've got 62 million, so we can afford both of these players, and we can afford them both on salary as well. So I think what we're going to do, we're, we're going to, uh, the thing is, we don't have too much time left. If we renegotiate with Cliver and just see if we can get them down a little bit, maybe to 11 million. I'm happy with the contract, that's not a problem. See, that's going to take three hours, there's 10 hours to go, so this will take us to seven. Mbabu, I might just accept Mbabu, I think, and pay what they want. So we'll try and negotiate that one first. Because I do want to potentially get the sales done as well. So um, let's see what we really can manage to do. Clive a lot better. Make sure you even slice of the pie. No, it all is fair enough. We'll tough it out. So does that mean they've rejected it? Even though you're that knobhead is the guy that told me. Yeah, brilliant. He's the guy that went. Let's try and get a better deal. What an art. What an ass. Well, Guita's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's balls that up, which is not very good fun. So first off, we can go in and reject. Um, Goita's uh, end that negotiation. He's been a quality goalkeeper for us. I don't want him going anywhere at the moment. Well, that's irritating, isn't it? Rejected due to player being a key member of the squad. That's really annoying because Baldy McBaldface was the guy that said go in there and try and get a better deal. Fine. Well, I'm not going to balls up and babu. So let's get him babu in. 35 million is a lot of money, but uh, we'll pay it. We'll get him in. Five hours to go. We did need a fullback. We needed a, two, a good fullback to cover both sides. So he's in. Which is good. Townsend has gone off from Lil. Now Townsend isn't He's getting on a bit. He's getting on a bit, Townsend. So I think Gwen Doozy I really want to keep. So I'm gonna end that negotiation. I'm not even gonna negotiate that. Townsend see 13 million. He's 31. He's not brilliant. He has scored some good goals for us. He does have some good shootings and some good stats. His average rating is a 5.9 though. He's got eleven goals, six assists. Now, if I could have confirmed Cliver, that's the thing. It's do I keep Guedes or do I keep Townsend? And I feel like potentially... <sighs> How old is Townsend? Townsend's 31, isn't he? I think we just said. So Townsend is 31. Not that age should really make a difference, but he's 26. He's got injury resistance 1. Townsend's got injury resistance 3. Speed 80, acceleration 79. Speed 88, acceleration 88, kicking power 88, dribbling 85, finishing 76. I mean, it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? You keep, you keep Goncalo Guedes and get rid of Townsend, I think, so... Yeah, interesting. Right, Onyaku, this is... He's absolutely rapid, but he's not played very much for us. 13 appearances out of possible 65, only scored three goals... Again, do we keep him and get rid of Townsend? Do we keep him and Guedes? I'm going to... Oh, I don't know what to do, because I really wanted to sign Cliver. We've got Ribery who can play a left wing. Yeah, I think Onyeko goes. I think Onyeko goes. I think we sell Onyeko. I think it's really irritating that we couldn't get Cliver. I can't believe I listened to Baldy McBaldface and just changed it and, and narrowed it down and lowered the price. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Um, 
Oh, this is such a nightmare. Right. We're just going to renegotiate. Give us the release fee. Give us his release fee, which they should do. So it's going to it's going to be three hours left, or that was going to take three hours. Two hours left, so there isn't really much time to get anything done. Petkovic, Petkovic is topping expectations, so yeah, they've paid his release fee, so that's fine. So we don't actually have to go in. I'm pretty sure we don't have to go in and accept it and waste time accepting it because they've paid the release fee. Now the other one is, do we try and get? Because Oxley Chamberlain can play on both wings as well, and I think I'd rather keep him, although he hasn't scored. But I don't think I actually played him that much. Injuries is very good. Twenty nine. I mean, sh really should probably keep Guedes. Goncalo Guedes is probably is the better player. He's younger. He's taller. He weighs less. If that comes into anything, they're both right footed. It's really tough. Can Guedes play both wings? Uh, where are we going? Yeah, he can play both wings. Okay, so Chamberlain renegotiate. Uh, all that time, all that's remaining in is rubber stamp for the approval. It's time to make a decision. Yeah, but I want to negotiate this one first. Renegotiate. So you're not going to let me because I have to say. Yeah, well, obviously I have to accept it. Okay, right. I thought it was going to then eat up some time. So. Okay, let's go Chamberlain. Renegotiate. Or do we keep Chamberlain and sell Townsend? No, I feel like Townsend's been here the whole time. We should keep hold of him, really. So, right, Chamberlain, you can give us his release fee, which is 36.036. It's going to take an hour to do. Are they going to set, Are they going to release him from his uh, his contract by paying his release fee? Uh, they're open to letting go, but they want a little bit of a better deal. He'll be moving to Wolves as well, potential rival. Have they not paid? They haven't paid his release fee. No, then. No, he can stay here. If you're not going to pay his release fee, you can't have him. I am tempted to then go... There's not a best to call it a day. Okay. So, now do we... Oh, that's really irritating. We're not going to get anyone in. I can't believe Cliver didn't work. We have got Mbabu. I say no one. We have got Mbabu, who does come in. He's really, really good. He's so quick. 95 speed. Can't use his weaker foot. So he's not going to... He's going to struggle a little bit at left back if we play him there. But a right back. Great stamina. Good acceleration. Great speed. Great dribbling. He's a very attacking player. Long throw. Pinpoint crossing. Yeah, it should be uh, It should be pretty pretty good. Okay. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We're not going to do any more. So uh, we'll just go to the next day. And uh, let's get into the game against Leicester. So Virgil van Dijk has moved from Liverpool to PSG. We'll just go and check out some of the other... Big transfer. So, yeah, negotiations failed. That's fine. Oxlane Chamberlain didn't move. Um, I thought Onyoku. Yeah, they, he, Onyoku's left, isn't he? So, okay. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look at the transfer market and see. Let's sort by price. So, Van Dyke for £86.4 million moved to PSG. Jack Grealish moved for £46.8 million to Tottenham. Callahan moved to Barcelona. Um, Correa we sold to Everton for 42 million. They paid his release fee. And Babu we bought for 35 million. Philippe, the centre back, has moved to Liverpool to replace Van Dyke. Ashenko's moved. Makano. Any other big names? Holibas. Um, Fernandinho has gone on loan at the age of 16 to Chelsea. Interesting. Dean Henderson has signed for West Ham. Ramsdale has moved from Juventus to Chelsea. He's had an interesting career. He's had a really interesting career. Fadinez has moved. Oriel Romeo's moved. Onyeku's moved. We sold him. Martinelli's gone on loan to Lazio from Juventus. Wow. Well, some some interesting some interesting transfers. Colombo there. If you're following my man, my uh, football manager stuff, you know I'm a fan of Colombo in there. But anyway, let's go into the next match. Then we're going to put it onto full manual and get into the game against Leicester, where hopefully we can go and get a result. Does Mbabu get a debut? I think he does because Dodo is down. Although it does put us down to an 83 team spirit but so does Niles Maitland Niles so we will start um, Mbabu in there and we've got Palacios and Camavinga Eze Maitland Niles Danzo Townsend will keep his place where oh yeah he's injured isn't he he's got he's been injured a couple of times now Petkovic it's very very annoying 
He's got injury resistance too, and he's been injured three times since he's been here, which is a nightmare. Greeter in goal, and Babo tops over. Ferro, Zinchenko, Guendouzi, Chamberlain, Townsend, Goncalo, Guedes, Shalov, and Brunetta, who are forming a very good partnership up front. I'm just wondering if we bring in Ezzy for anyone. Do we get a boost? We do. If we put him on the left wing, we get a boost. We don't if we bring in Ribery. Maitland Niles. Yeah, doesn't really give a boost anyway. We could start as a, but Goncalo Grades is up for it, and we need to get him used to the uh, the formation and stuff. So let's get into it. We'll be back at Selhurst Park for kickoff. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Selhurst Park for Crystal Palace versus Leicester City as the Premier League resumes after the January transfer window closes. Greta leads out Crystal Palace, and Johnny Evans leads out Leicester City. And uh, well, Crystal Palace. There's the new boy, Kevin and Babu, signed from Wolfsburg. Right back, left back, can play centre back if needs be. Absolutely rapid the uh, Crystal Palace faithful will be looking forward to see what he brings to the team other than that a transfer deadline day deal for Cliver fell through Justin Cliver and uh, the Crystal Palace fans were getting excited about that move but it wasn't to come off as uh, negotiations failed in the last few hours of the deadline day and on the air coup left the club Wolverhampton Wanderers bid for Oxley Chamberlain which was rejected and well lots of uh, dealings were happened in and around Crystal Palace over the window but more importantly this man remains at the club Townsend remains Chamberlain remains and Crystal Palace will be hoping they can build on what they've started as Chamberlain gets the new boy involved in Babu he's up against Ezquierdo goes back towards Chamberlain who fancies a hit from range it's a deflected shot and Kovechi will get it away and Babu is uh, on the ball holds up possession back to Chamberlain Chamberlain sees the run of Shalov, tries to put it in, it's headed away. Chamberlain's there, first time pass into Brunetta, it's bouncing around, but Wilfred and Diddy takes over the ball, and Crystal Palace have never not been able to string a good run of form together. A win here, a loss there, losing to Fulham and Sheffield United was not part of the game plan, but then they get results against teams you don't expect them to beat, and that's been uh, the story of the season so far, as we're just beyond the halfway mark in the season and Crystal Palace will probably be very happy with how they're doing well above the relegation zones and they, the struggles they had last year but here's Slimani with a header past the post 0-0 eight minutes gone Slimani's got in behind the new boy and Babu but Tapsoba's there to cover really well he has got Townsend long up the line he tries to put the ball into space over hits the pass that goes out and and Babu is involved quite a lot in these early stages for Crystal Palace but he's had to be bailed out by his centre-back partner there Chamberlain uh, does well to intercept that tries the back flick into Brunetta, who does uh, just get on the ball. Lays that off to Fedo. Fedo uh, invited forward from defence. Lays it off to Zinchenko, who's probably more capable at running forwards. Goncalo Guedes into Shalov. Shalov tackled very well by Johnny Evans. And Prayat picks the ball up. Back to Danny Ward, who's starting in goal for Leicester today. That's a good header there from Ferro. Brunetta can't get there. Catches Kovici late. And it could be a yellow card. No malice in it. But we'll see what the referee does here. Just a collision of players between Kovecci and uh, Brunetta. Just, yeah, going for the ball. Not really looking where he was going. Uh, the collision's there and, well, Brunetta can moan all he wants. Definite free kick. Shalov's done well to nick the ball there in front of Ndidi. And Townsend has got uh, space to put this ball into. He's put it in the corner looking for Brunetta. He was just held up well by Johnny Evans, though, and Crystal Palace waste a pretty decent opportunity in that situation. Kovecci goes out to... Harvey Barnes is closed down by Mbabu and there's the pace of Mbabu to get back and cover that after being done by a 1-2. The ball goes into the box though. Slimani beaten in the air by Ferro Cavecci. Ezquerero puts the ball in again looking for Slimani and Guita who has uh, had a couple of bids in him in the January. All of them got flatly rejected by the Crystal Palace management as that uh, makes an, an easy catch as Slimani gets the ball back again. Ferro into Trying to close down Iosi Perry. Slimani's in. Gets a shot off Guita with a good save again. Corner to Leicester. So Crystal Palace not finding their stride at the moment. Oh, Leicester City coming forward as uh, Kejovici puts this one in. Guita with a decent punch away. And Andros Townsend robs Ricardo Pereira very well. And there could be a very easy counter-attack. But that pass from Carlo Congredes was terrible. Prayat out to Iosi Perez, who's got a bit more space than NASA at the moment on that side. Great ball in Slimani with the overhead kick. And, uh, well, Iosi Perez given the freedom of Selhurst Park on this right-hand side as Sinchenko came to close the ball down. A 1-2 just opened it up, and he had so much time and space. Left-footed cross, Slimani with the acrobatic effort well over the bar. So Prayat goes long into Slimani, looks out towards Iosi Perez. 
who uh, once again gets round the feeble attempt for a tackle from Zinchenko. Ball in, Slimani diving header over the bar, and it's been a dangerous partnership between Iosi Perez and Slimani in this first half, and Iosi Perez got in behind, just held off Zinchenko, then ran in behind. Great ball down the line from Ricardo Padilla. Cross in, diving header from Slimani just over the crossbar. As Garita was stretching. Granduzzi into Chamberlain. Chamberlain onto Townsend. Townsend looks to fire this one forward, over hit the pass, and it's really not coming off for Crystal Palace today. They are not connecting their passes together in the final third, and well, Leicester City are just probably feeling aggrieved not to be 1-0 up. They've had the best chances, they've played the better football, but uh, at the moment, it remains 0-0. Iosi Perez on the ball, Leicester City trying to launch a counter-attack from uh, a bit of a wayward pass from Zinchenko at left-back as Pliat. It's on the ball. Tries to put his wings on Slomani. And, well, Slomani had got the wrong side of Tapso, but it was a great defensive header to get it away. Chamberlain fires it up the line towards Shalov, but nobody there. Piat again, can turn into uh, Slimani. Poor pass backwards, though. Ricardo Pereira keeps it alive for Leicester. Iosi Perez looking up against Zinchenko once again. Guendouzi back there with a good tackle. Out towards Goncalo Guedes, who keeps this one in play. Goes long over the top, looking for the run of Brunetta. But Soyuncu with a very good interception. Had to get that one right, the Turkish centre-back. And Babu with the ball. Comes forward with it. Gets around the tackle of Harvey Barnes very easily and can turn the afterburners on here to uh, push away from his markers. It goes in towards Brunetta, who just wasn't looking the right way. Steins is running behind and all of Mbabu's good work has, well, come to nothing there as Tapsoba will uh, keep this one in play. Sees the run going forward of Shalov, but it's going to be meat and drink for uh, Johnny Evans and Soyuncu. Those balls over the top, unless they are absolutely pinpoint. Ferro into Gwenduzi. Sees the run of Zinchenko on his left. Picks him out with a wonderful pass. Zinchenko, loads of space to run into here. Tries to knock it off. Shalov will pick up the loose ball. He's got the long way around, Shalov. He's got Mbabu back in position. Mbabu knocks it in towards Guedes. Can't win the header. It's going to come to Gwenduzi with a hit. It's a great save from uh, Ward in goal. Danny Ward pulls off a fantastic save there. Shalov did well to keep it alive into Mbabu. The cross wasn't the best, but Guedes were beaten in the air. It came to Guendouzi. Left-footed, low drive. Good save from Ward. Corner to Crystal Palace. Taps over, makes a run to the near post. Up against Kovechi. Wins the header. Shalov can't get there. It'll be another corner, I think. Uh, a double deflection off Leicester City players. Takes it behind, and it is another corner for Crystal Palace. And they're really trying to make these count as... You can see they're always trying to always trying to get a tall man towards the front to try and win a flick on as it goes in towards Tapsoba again. Can't flick that one on. Comes out towards uh, Mbabu. Looks to Dinky Bag and Shalov. Looks miles offside. Referee says a play on. Guedes is there. Jinchenko on the left-footed volley. Ward with another good save. Palace coming alive. Five minutes to go in the first half. Renduzzi with a cracking interception there. His pass isn't the best though, but Brunetta picks up the loose touch. From Ndidi, chipped over the top into Shalov, who's in behind Johnny Evans. Shalov, oh, he was slipping as he took his shot. And it's not the best connection from the striker. And it goes behind, but Brunetta robbed Ndidi really well in the middle. And then a little scoop pass over the top into Shalov. He took a touch around Johnny Evans, and yeah, just a nudge of the shoulder from Evans. And slipping striker, not a good connection. Remains 0-0. Harvey Barnes turns away on this left-hand side. Great pressure from Oxlade Chamberlain, though. And Babu has to go and cover the middle. Gwenduzi into... Trying to close down uh, Priat. No easy shooting opportunities for Leicester in this attack at the moment. Perez puts the ball through. Priat's there. He's brought it down right on the stroke of half time. Puts it wide. 0 0 into half time we go. I think both managers will be relatively pleased, to be honest. No, no team's really dominated. Leicester started well early on. The Crystal Palace have definitely come back into it. One change at half time for Crystal Palace as uh, Camavinga comes on to replace Oxlade Chamberlain in the centre of midfield. No changes for Leicester City, though. So you'll be having to see if uh, that change for Crystal Palace can make a difference in this second half. Slimani hold off. Camavinga laid it into the midfielder who's found Harvey Barnes who's got in behind um, and Babu. It'll go behind for a corner off tap sober. Leicester City starting the second half. Uh, similar to how they started the first half actually. Very well. Attacking very well. A few misplaced passes but they're uh, doing well. Kovechi will have the corner surely aiming for Slimani. He goes over him towards Harvey Barnes. And Didi with the overhead kick and it goes behind the post. A cracking effort from Wilfred and Didi, but uh, just not on target. 50 minutes in, and this is probably the closest either team has come. It just stood up in the air for him. Acrobatic effort. Nobody touched it, luckily, for Crystal Palace. Well, nil-nil, and we are five minutes into the second half. It's a great header from Shalov to win it in the midfield. and uh, Sorry, in the attack, but the pass back to him just wasn't good enough. Zinchenko has a bit of time here. Good header into Kamavinga. 
Looking for Goncalo Guedes, but not the best pass. Again, Wilfred Ndudi caught on the ball. Townsend sees the run of Brunetta. It's a lovely reverse pass. Brunetta's in, and that's 1-0 Crystal Palace. And they get a good opportunity and take it. And Brunetta, what a, what a reverse pass from Townsend. We were right not to sell him on, um, on deadline day. Indeed, he caught cold by Brunetta, uh, by Gonguades, silly. Sorry, put it into Townsend. A lovely little reverse pass out of the reach of Soyuncu and a lovely finish from Brunetta into that top corner. And it is 1-0 Crystal Palace Townsend. What a pass that is. And then a lovely right-footed finish from Brunetta right into the top corner. Ward has got no chance. 1-0 Crystal Palace. You love to see it. Kervecci comes forward, looks out towards Ricardo Perea with a bit of space. Tapsoba does get a header, but it hits ba uh, and Babu in the face. And it goes behind for a corner to Leicester. They have been dangerous from set pieces today. Kervecci will take it again. There's a bit of movement in the box. Guetta is there to get a punch on it. And it's going to fall here to Escudero. Goncalo Guedes gets a good block on it. And now there is a chance of a counter-attack here as... Townsend is coming forward with it at pace. He's got Soyuncu for uh, company. Puts it into Shalov. Shalov to Brunetta. Brunetta tries to dink a pass into the path of Goncalo Guedes. Goncalo Guedes up against Escuero. Trying to just create a little bit of space for him. Pushed off the ball though. And uh, well, referee said play on. No free kick given there. Soyuncu covers well. And Crystal Palace probably waste a decent opportunity there still 1-0 though so the Eagles won't be too upset Dennis Preat on the ball for Leicester up against Guendouzi made it, who made it very easy for him to to go round Slimani turns tries to get a shot off it goes in Harvey Barnes with an effort past the post remains 1-0 but I'm not too sure how they Crystal Palace can't keep defending like this committing far too much towards the ball as a Slimani laid it into Preat into Harvey Barnes great touch out of his feet and just cut across the ball slightly which made it go just wide of the post. Enchenko with the ball down the line to Guedes. Tries to invite Mbabu forward. Something he's not going to be too afraid of doing. But that's a terrible pass from the new signing. Into space where there was literally nobody. Harvey Barnes. Slimani. Slimani comes forward. Up against Ferro. Gets round him. Kervecci okay, tries to put the ball in. Because Zinchenko's fallen asleep. Not marking Preya. Zinchenko well, does get the ball. Referee says play on. And he well tries to get it away. But gives it to Harvey Barnes. Slimani. Slimani turns, taps overs out from the back and Babu, good positioning though to win the header, Harvey Barnes, Ezcuerdo's on it again and Babu out towards him quickly, Ferro lets that go over his shoulder and realises he's got enough time and space to just clear it away, 65 minutes gone, 1-0 Crystal Palace, Wilfred Ndidi towards the uh, edge of the Crystal Palace block when Doozy reads that pass really well and intercepts it as Brunetta has time and space, tries to go long towards Shalov but Ricardo Padea back there defending well. And Crystal Palace are getting a little bit desperate, it seems, with some of their passes. They're just trying to force the ball long when there's really no need to do it. Soyuncu looking to go in behind Mbabu, but he's quick enough to recover his position well. And Slimani's going to try and get on the end of this. And he could play a 1-2 here. Zinchenko covers well and oh, nearly got his pass back to Guita wrong. So corner to Leicester City. Cheap corner given away. Kavecchi puts this one in again. Zinchenko up against Barnes. Barnes wins the header, but Townsend is back there. He was caught late, it looked like, by Ndidi. Ricardo Perea still comes forward. He gets a shot off. It's blocked. Iosi Perez back to Ricardo Perea with a shot. Good save from Goita again. And how many times has he bailed this Crystal Palace team out this season? Taps over with the ball. Just looks to put it over the head of Johnny Evans, but can't get it in behind. Ndidi. Perea up against Guendouzi, who's uh, just caught the Belgian. But Iosi Perez... Has, has the ball because the referee said to play on but Ferro defends that very well up towards uh, Goncalo Guedes there's a free man in the middle and it's Brunetta looking for his second of the game Brunetta's in one on one tries to dink the keeper but Ward stayed big and makes a fantastic save and with 15 minutes to go you think that may have been it for uh, Leicester as uh, Camavinga has won this back Guedes into Townsend sets up nicely for a hit Townsend and Ward makes another good save. Good ball in there. Slimani, another acrobatic effort over the bar. And it was just a run straight down the line from the winger on the left, Kovechi. Uh, it got round uh, behind him. Babu had pushed up. Tapsoba came up. Thought he had won the ball here with a good strong shoulder barge. But it wasn't enough. Slimani, who's loved the acrobatic efforts tonight, or today, has uh, put that one over the bar. So double substitution for Leicester City. And Babu's debut comes to an end. He's played reasonably well. Replaced by Maitland-Niles and uh, Ibra Eze. On for Goncalo Guedes. Crystal Palace uh, used all their subs. Leicester have bought an under for Harvey Barnes as their first substitute of the game. Camavinga in towards 
Townsend looking for Brunetta. Tries to flick that one on to Shalov. Shalov gets it off to Eze. Back to Zinchenko. Crystal Palace looking a bit more comfortable, though, and Diddy has closed down Gwenduzi very well there. Taps over, slides, and gets the ball with a very good challenge. And Ferro doesn't want them messing around with it. Gets it away and actually finds Townsend with a wonderful pass. Brunetta up against Soyonchu, who's just stronger than uh, the Italian. But he's won it back, Brunetta. Tries to stick it across towards Shalov and mistimed his jump. And it's uh, going to be easy for Iosi Perez just to mop this one up. Here is Under, the substitute for Leicester. Into uh, Cavici. Back to Ezquierdo. Looks over the top and it's Under against Maitland-Niles. Two substitutes against each other there. But it was the uh, Englishman that came out on top, which will please Rude Hullet no end. Gwenduzi up towards Brunetta. And Didi reads it. Play it round the corner first time. Tap Sober wins the header, though, against Slimani. And Crystal Palace will hold on to the ball. Slimani with the ball at his feet. It's a lovely ball into space to find, find Senges Under, who uh, is up against Maitland Niles. As we mentioned, two substitutes against each other there. Maitland Niles gets a foot in on Izquierdo, just takes a bit of pace off the ball. Priat. Or Prat, I actually think is how it's pronounced, but Grindizi tries to put him under pressure. He gets it back. Shot saved from Goita and Zinchenko. Right footed clearance, just hoofs it away. Didn't want to mess around with it. Kervici up against Kamavinga. Into. <laughs> Says under Ezquierdo, and that should be easy for the goalkeeper, but everybody misses it, including Slimani. And Ferro gets that away. Rude is very excited in the corridor, having a little bark at everybody because he wants Crystal Palace to get this win. Zinchenko up towards Townsend, Eze, Shalov. It's a lovely back heel into the path of Townsend, and Johnny Evans sticks out a foot and somehow. Gets a touch on the ball. I thought that was definitely going to be a goal-scoring opportunity there. But it is 1-0 Crystal Palace. Back to winning ways. Live on camera. That's what we want to see. Brunetta with a wonderful goal to give Crystal Palace the win. Some fantastic saves from Goita as well. A debut for Mbappé. But, yeah, Leicester City will probably feel a little bit aggrieved. 12 crosses they put into the box. Slimani made absolutely nothing of any of them. So there we go. 1-0 win against Leicester. Very nice. Arsenal beat Fulham 4-1. Southampton and Villa drew 0-0. Spurs and Sheffield United um, well, Spurs won 3-1. Bournemouth beat Everton 3-0. Chelsea beat Watford 3-0. Burnley lost to Liverpool 1-0. Newcastle lost to Man United 1-0. Man City beat Stoke 4-1. And West Ham lost at home 4-1 to Wolverhampton Wanderers, which is not a good result. But we climb the table to 10th. If we can somehow... Scrape a European place this year. I will be delighted. Absolutely delighted. So the game, the aim of this save is to actually win the Premier League. Whether we get a chance to do that or not, I'm not too sure. But we want to win the try and win the Premier League with Crystal Palace, which will be tough on full manual. And um, hopefully have some sort of adventure in Europe. We'll see how it goes. But a good win. Up next will be Everton, which we'll do off camera because we are doing one game an episode now just so that I can... By doing one game an episode, it means I can get these videos out to you more often. And I think, like... You guys seem to really enjoy Provo, and I love playing it. So um, I'm very keen to keep this going and keep this on the channel. So we've got Everton, then Watford, then Watford again in the FA Cup, then Liverpool. Man I mean, we'll come back from Man United because that's a team I support, and I don't think we've really played them too often in Provo. So we'll be back for the Man United game. Hopefully we'll progress in the FA Cup as well. But thank you so much for watching for now. I'm out. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. You know all of that stuff anyway, don't you? So thank you so much for watching for now. I'm out. Cheers.